Okay, so we were just interrupted by my phone, and that is just really annoying. So I'm going to turn it off. So just to repeat myself, um, this reading is going to be for you, Scorpio, or for the person that you're watching the video for. All right. Um, and I got started and the phone rang that cut off the video. So the first card that I pulled was your card. And honestly, this is the first time that I've seen your card in any of the readings so far this week. Um, <clears throat> This reading is going to look like an upside down pyramid by the time we're done. It's a little bit of a different reading than I normally do. At the end of this reading, I'm going to pull three oracle cards, okay, that will validate this reading. And we'll also use a little bit of numerology to get the best course of action as to what's next, okay? So we have your card here, and then we have... The Two of Swords. Okay, so Two of Swords is about repressed feelings or somebody that's unwilling to make a choice. So this could be you or somebody might be unwilling to make a choice about you. All right. All right, we have the Fool. And then we have the Five of Wands. Interesting. All right, so, you know, the Fool can be taking a, a leap of faith, right? But it can also actually be about a little bit of a, a little bit of an infatuation. I feel like somebody might be a little bit infatuated with you. All right, and the five of wands here is basically saying they don't know where they stand with you. Anytime, you know, your card shows up as the first card, I take it as you. All right, so I feel like this energy is coming, you know, towards you. So somebody has some very repressed feelings. I feel like they are somewhat infatuated with you. You may or may not know who this person is, all right? And they have no idea where they stand with you. Now, again, this energy could be flipped, okay? Um, you know, this could be you that is having these repressed feelings and infatuation over somebody and not knowing where you stand, okay? But I'm getting the feeling that it might be the other way around, and this is an energy coming towards you. All right, so now we're going to pull the next three cards. All right, so this card is in between Death and Two of Swords. This card is in between Two of Swords and The Fool. And then... The final card here is in between the Fool and Five of Wands. Woo! And then we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person sees you in this Queen of Wands energy, okay? You're not phased by anything here. You know, you're seen as beautiful and confident and somebody that lights up the room. This energy is the exact energy that I felt when I turned over the fool. This energy of infatuation, this is how this person sees you. <laughs> All right, and then we have the six of wands, okay? This is a card of victory, but it's also the card of somebody putting you as the center of attention. You know, I don't feel like I don't feel like you mind being the center of attention when it's in a positive way. I feel like um, I feel like you might know who this is that has these feelings for you. You might be enjoying it a little bit, which is perfectly okay. All right, and then we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, and Seven of Cups can be about illusion 
illusions in love. It's also about choices. So this person is getting ready to make some choices, I feel like, to give them information about, you know, about where they stand with you, okay? Um, they're putting you as the center of attention. This person is infatuated with you. I really feel like this is an energy coming towards you. You may or may not know who this is again, but I feel like some of you will definitely know who this is. You know, and I don't feel like you have the same energy going towards this person, but I feel like there's something about this that that you're enjoying. I don't think you've completely ruled this person out, but right now there's there's definitely an imbalance here between the two of you because this person is putting you on a pedestal for sure. All right. What's next here? Ten of Pentacles. Okay, and this is coming between the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands. All right, so... This tells me that while there might be an imbalance on the surface here between the two of you, sorry, the dogs are barking at squirrels. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you actually do with this Ten of Pentacles it looks as though you do have, you do see some potential here with this person. You might be enjoying a little game of hard to get with this person. It might be amping up the sexual energy between the two of you. But you do see a possibility here with this person for a long term. Okay? This person does bring you joy in the moment. That's what I feel like. This is somebody that gives you a lot of joy like in everyday occurrences that you have with this person, which is fun. And that's that's a good energy to be in. Now, ooh, there we go. What was, you, what was I just talking about? Joy, okay, and happiness. Sun. So, you know, this person is pursuing you, okay, and... Their potential illusions around this around this connection, I feel like they're going to end up being very happy with the outcome. Again, you might not have revealed what you want in this connection because I feel like you're just having too much fun. You're having fun with this person. <clears throat> They may not know exactly where they stand, but they're getting a good vibe from you. They are. They might be putting you a little bit on a pedestal, but it's, I don't feel like it's in a harmful way after getting these two cards here. You know, and this whole, this might be somebody that you did not expect to feel like this about at all. Because I feel like it's transforming you in a really, really positive way. Like you're seeing that it is okay to be really happy and trusting of somebody. I feel like you needed that. I feel like you needed, you know, to have somebody in your life where you really feel like you can trust this person. And I feel like that's what this playful energy is about. Because this is definitely a playful energy here. And it's about building your trust. It is. It's about building your trust. Because you need to be reminded of how beautiful and special you really are. And I feel like this person is bringing that out in you, like you are glowing. 
when you're around this person. And not only when you're around this person, but when you're around other people in your life, they're noticing a difference in you because of the happiness this person, you know, brings out in you. And that's beautiful. All right, so three of pentacles. All right, so... So three of pentacles can be about coming together, right? Collaborating with somebody. And you're definitely doing that. But it can also be about proving to yourself, proving something to yourself. And that's what I feel like this reading is about, is proving to yourself that you are absolutely worthy of this type of attention and you're worthy of having fun. I feel like there's been... You know, if you've had kind of a dark cloud hanging over you, it's like the sun is shining on you right now, not only with this person, but like in a lot of areas in your life where you're feeling joy and ease and just, you know, allowing yourself and giving yourself permission to have fun, <laughs> you know? So that... I love seeing that. I love seeing that for you, Scorpio. All right, so we're going to pull three oracle cards. To validate this reading. All right, so we have release, we have peace, yep, and then we have resistance. Okay, well, if that doesn't tell the story here. All right, so I feel like this connection is really about releasing, transforming an energy that you've been in for a while, okay? And the resistance that you are giving to this person, <laughs> okay, is is helping you to transform and release this old energy, which ultimately brings you that peace and happiness and harmony that you know you have been craving and that you have been deserving, okay? Um, enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy this person's attention, you know, and if, if it's on the flip side, Feel free to give that attention to somebody because truly they might need it just like you might need it, okay? All right, so we're going to look at a little numerology here. We've got 27 and 28, which that's 56. And then 56 and 25 is, what is that, 81. So that brings us to the number 9. And nine is about vision. So this connection that's happening right now is giving you some vision, ten of pentacles, for your future. Okay? Now, the follow-through of this energy might be a little challenging because it's so fun and lighthearted right now. It It's like... It's like you might be on this kind of love high right now, <laughs> love bubble. Um, so, you know, when it actually gets to a relationship point, there might be a little bit of a letdown, but I feel like that will be very, very short, very quick. Um, this is very, very positive in the sense that it's helping you to elevate who you like elevate to the place where you want to be, how you want to be seen, okay? How you want to feel. Ultimately, that's what's most important. It's it's bringing you to a place of how you want to feel in your everyday life. That's why this person is in your life right now. Let them play. Let them have fun with you. Okay? Because I feel like it can absolutely transform into something really, really meaningful at some point 
allowing you to come together. But this is extremely healthy. This is like medicine for the soul. It really is. All right, Scorpio. That is what I have for you. This was, I think, one of the most straightforward readings that, that I saw this week. So... <laughs> Um, if you want a deeper reading, you can always reach out to me um, for a personal reading. All the information you need is below in the description box. I'm always here for you, um, you know, and I will respond quickly to you. Okay, so thank you so much, loves. Have a great week. Bye-bye.